What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here, PackersNews.com, live on Facebook late in the day on Thursday with absolutely, positively, no new news to talk about. But that doesn't mean you guys don't have questions, things you want to discuss, and that's why I'm here. Facebook.com slash Packers News. All the news is fit to print. And in the middle of July, there's not much, but... Always happy to jump on and see what's on the minds of Packers fans around the world. We've had some crazy locations checking in the last week or so, which proves that the world never sleeps on the green and gold. And now that is Jacob from Washington, D.C. What's up, Jacob? Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us. Kalamazoo, Michigan checking in. Very nice, Jared. Nice to see you. <laughs> Joe. Uh, according to sources close to B.J. Raji, no, he is not coming out of retirement anytime soon. Hello, Joan. Thank you for joining us. Sioux Falls and Albuquerque checking in. John, that's very nice of you to say. <laughs> Best current Packer to grab a beer with? None of them. Uh, that would be derelict to my duty of being an impartial journalist. Um, I do not grab beers with players. Rogers contract imminent? I would think so. Um, I would think... Uh, I actually discussed that on the radio... Today on the Bill Michael show, I, I tend to think, you know, they're going to want to announce it right before camp starts to kind of kick things off on a good vibe. That's just guesswork on my part, but there is history there. There's precedent with the Jordy Nelson extension, David Bakhtiari's contract were all announced right before the start of camp. I think that's what they want to do with Aaron Rodgers. Does Alexander have a chance to start outside? Justin, I think so. I think there's a chance, definitely. I think they will run him both inside and out. Um... I tend to think the path towards playing time is on the inside, uh, playing from the slot, but I don't doubt they will want to get him cross-trained both uh, on the perimeter and in the slot, and I think he'll be given every opportunity uh, at both positions. Is there a date after which we should be worried about no Rodgers contract? Yeah, I'd say... Probably once the season starts, if something hasn't gotten done, probably won't get done until next year. And at that time, uh, the Packers um, really start to uh, have to pony up, so to speak. And, you know, there's not much pressure Rodgers can put on the Packers uh, to have them acquiesce to his demands, other than obviously being one of the best at what he does on the planet. But with the Packers controlling his rights for the next four seasons, essentially, um, you know, they don't have to sign something that they don't think is, you know, to their advantage or in the best interest of the ball club. It's just a question of, you know, the minutia and the uh, mechanisms of the contract. But even if something doesn't get done this offseason and they do push it to next year, it's still not a huge concern. After next year, though, when they start getting towards that franchise tag, then things could get contentious. But in the meantime... I don't expect any of that to happen. Derek, how do I feel about the defense this year? I think it will be improved. How much will be dependent on you know, the players and how they gel with Petten and his scheme. Uh, I think the biggest thing they need to do is get off the field on a few more third downs every game. And I certainly think Petten and crew are capable of making that happen. Getting the ball to Aaron Rodgers a few more times a game is a recipe for success. And I think that will be the brief. More touchdowns, Adams or Graham? I'll go with Adams. I know Graham was a touchdown machine last year, um, but I think, you know, provided they both play 16 games, I, I think Adams will be the go-to, and I think he's in for a monster year. What rookies do you see making the roster at the wide receiver spot? Oh, Eric, it's far too early to, to even guesstimate that. Uh, ask me a couple weeks into camp. Once we've got a couple, you know, a week of padded practices into camp, I'll I'll start to have an idea, but you know, so much happens day in and day out, um, not only from scrimmage but on special teams. It's you know, there's so much that has to play out yet before we can even begin to speculate. Do you see the defense as a top ten this year, or maybe top fifteen? I'd say maybe top fifteen. Uh, top ten, I think a lot of things got to go right. A lot of guys got to perform at a high level. Now that that's not possible, but right now that's a lot of hoping and a lot of uh, unproven talent being asked to step to the fore. And again, it's not to say that it can't happen, uh, 
Um, but we certainly have to wait and see. Do you feel Josh Jackson is going to be starting by week three? I tend to doubt it, uh, unless there's an injury. Now, you know, th this is all without these guys putting on pads yet and seeing anything on the field against NFL-level competition, but you know, I tend to think it'll be Tremont and, jo and Kevin King on the outsides, and I think Josh is going to have to wait his turn. Now, I do think he'll get action in sub-packages, and I do think you know he'll make his way onto the field as the year progresses, but week three seems awfully early. I mean, unless Kevin King just crashes and burns, which I don't expect. Do you think HaHa gets a new deal or becomes a free agent next year? Good question. I mean, obviously a lot depends on his performance on the field in 2018. I tend to believe uh, they will let him test the market, uh, but that's just a hunch. Any predictions on the Packers record at the end of the year? Uh, check back at the end of August. Uh, I give my prediction every year at the end of camp. How do you think the running game will be? Brandon, I think it'll be um, much improved. I think, you know, a lot will depend on what happens at the right tackle spot while Balaga is out. Uh, but, yeah, they found a lot of stuff last year kind of out of necessity once Rodgers went down that they had not used previously with Rodgers under center. Um, I think if they can get a good mix of what they were doing in the run game while Hundley was under center, coupled with Rodgers at the line of scrimmage, um, I think the run game can be improved. Now, Teams will undoubtedly uh, have taken the offseason to look at what Green Bay did and look at the wrinkles that they incorporated and try and find a way to counter that. But I do think um, Campen, James Campen, the offensive line coach, did an excellent job last year, and it'll be interesting to see how they can build on that success. Kenny Clark, a breakout guy? Absolutely. Uh, I keep saying, anyone who will listen, I think he is a star in the making. Should the Packers sign DeMarco Murray? No. Any interest in Barwin, Connor Barwin? I've got a couple questions about him over the last couple weeks. I, you know, his name popped up a lot last offseason when he was a free agent. The Packers never showed any interest whatsoever. I can't imagine another year of wear and tear on this older veteran has made them more interested. I, I tend to think they're going to stick with, you know, Matthews and Perry and then hope that Gilbert and Beagle step up. Can our drafted punter also kick? You know, I'm not sure. I don't know. I can't remember if he's done any kickoff duties or not, or field goal duties. Will Cobb be ready for week one? Yes, Jess, that is the, uh, that is the word. If I could have a guest on my live feed, who would it be? That's a great question. Stay tuned for the start of training camp. That's what we call a tease in the business. Will Cobb or Clay be around in 2019? Oof, Mike. That's a crystal ball question, isn't it? Um, I would tend to think Clay would be, and there's a good chance Cobb re-signs an extended deal maybe partway through the season. Uh, but a lot's going to depend on, you know, clearly what they, you know, how they play out on the field this year. Um, it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever to see both of them walk. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me to see both of them resigned. Uh, I think a lot will depend on their, you know, their situation on the field, their health, and their level of play. Why let HaHa -Ha test the market? Well, there's a lot of factors there. I think a part of it will be cost. Part of it will be where they want to allocate their funds. They are about to make Aaron Rodgers the highest paid player in the history of the game. You know, that has a trickle-down effect. And uh, I think... Again, a lot will depend on HaHa -Ha and his play this year on the field. I think he is liked by management and in the locker room, but, you know, Micah High was loved both in the locker room and by management, and he was still allowed to walk. Um, you know, there's a lot of factors there. It's just a hunch. Maybe this new scheme, Mike Pettin, unlocks something in HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix that make him invaluable, and they, they try to lock him up sooner rather than later. But right now, as we sit here in mid-July, my gut says they let him walk. And when you say let him walk, that doesn't mean he can't come back. They have a long history in Green Bay of letting guys out the door to test the market and then, you know, allow them to kind of shop their wares, so to speak, and say, look, if you don't find something that just blows you away and you're interested in coming back, we are more than happy to talk to you about um, a number that works for us. Uh, 
they've done that numerous times. So just because Ha Ha Clinton Dix might be allowed to test the free agent waters doesn't necessarily mean they shut the door on him. Was it a mistake to let Morgan Burnett get away? I guess we'll have to find out, right? Um, I don't think so. Third contract, a guy who was having trouble staying on the field. Um, I'm not going to say he's one-dimensional, but I think he's trending towards you know, a box safety, which in the NFL today is you know, kind of a luxury in the sense that you want to have a guy who's multiple, that can play up and down. And as great as he was in the box taking on the run, um, being a run stopper, you know, he was up and down in coverage, and in space, he was certainly uh, not the player he once was even three or four years ago. So it's always better to get out a year too early than a year too late, and I tend to think they got out at the right time with Morgan Burnett. Uh, is Lindsley the most underrated center in the NFL? Um, I don't know. I, it really depends on who's doing the rating, right? You know, it's hard for me to say that he's underrated when he's coming off a year that was not up to his standard. I think he would agree with that assessment if you asked him point blank. Uh, you know, he had he had strong play as usual for a lot of the year, but he also had play where he was not up to the level that he had set previously in Green Bay. Um, he did play every snap, and that's, you know, there's something to be said for that. Obviously, the biggest ability is accountability and availability, but... Yeah, I think he could raise his level of play from what we saw last year, and I expect to see that this this season. Uh, how do you watch tape and analyze players like you do? Uh, my biggest tool is uh, Game Pass, NFL Game Pass, which is offered by NFL Media. It is a $100 subscription for the year, which gives you access to all the games, replays of all the broadcasts, and the coaches' tape. And I basically sit in a room and just watch it over and over again obsessively, much to the uh, amusement and bemusement of my wife and children. Carriage is underrated. I tend to agree. Uh, I've said often here on this here channel that I thought he was pushing Ripkowski for a job prior to his injury last summer. You never know how guys are going to bounce back after injury, but if he comes back where and picks up where he left off, we could be in for a good battle in training camp. Any rookie wide receiver with potential to be a superstar? Whew, awfully early for that question. Who emerges as top edge rusher? Give me Reggie Gilbert. I mean, I think Beagle will be improved simply because he'll have a full off season. You know, knock on whatever. But um, yeah, I think Gilbert's got the tools. I think he's got everything he needs to get after the quarterback with regularity. Um, some of that will be de determined on opportunity, how much he is able to get on the field because of Clay and Nick in front of him, but um, you really like what you see when you turn on the tape. Would you like to watch the Packers at Wembley Stadium? Sure, because that means I'd be in London, one of my favorite places on earth. Uh, <laughs> the, did I get the Team BS version of Roger's arm, or do I really know? Woo! Conspiracy theories! Good night! Tinful hat. Allison is overlooked. Rogers has trust in him. It's like you've been listening to my Facebook Live all summer! What position is Montgomery going to play? Both wide receiver and running back. He will be listed as a running back. He will probably primarily play running back, but he will also play uh, in the slot and in the, on the perimeter. He will be a Swiss Army knife, if you will. Beagle has two feet now. He's ready to destroy. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Last year, he lost the entire offseason. Wasn't in pads until like week six, seven, eight. So, you know, that guy, that's a complete, you can just erase his rookie year. Bring back the Packers sweep. I'm sure they'd like to, Andrew. Will we sign any more free agents? Caitlin, I tend to doubt it, but never say never. Strength and conditioning worries. Any changes to the program? No, and I would encourage you to listen to my podcast with Brady Papinga at PackersNews.com, where he spoke at length about why fans, uh, their anger and worry about the strength and conditioning program is misplaced. Uh, Brady had a lot to say about it and a 
lot of it was uh, very smart, and I can't do it justice here. Will Montgomery get a new contract when the time comes? Peter, it all depends on what time you're talking about. During the season, I doubt it. Before free agency, I think they'll talk. Um, clearly, McCarthy is on record. He said it publicly. The frustration with Montgomery is that he can't stay on the field. He can't stay healthy. He has yet to complete a full season. Or he has not missed games. So if he can do that, if he can be available and be productive... I think they'd really like to have him back, but uh, if he suffers through another injury-plagued year, I think they will let him walk. Ha! <laughs> Peter. Have I ever been recognized in London? No, but my wife has. Do you think does next year's draft... What? Sorry, guys. The comments are completely crazy at the moment. Um... I'm going to take, I'm going to try and read one more. My phone is hating life. Uh, sorry. Will Matthews play even fewer snaps this year? Uh, if you mean due to injury, I mean, only fate knows. But if you mean by design, um, I think they will want him on the field a tad more. I know part of the design and the idea behind it was to keep him fresh for the fourth quarter and down the stretch. Uh, but I think they need all the production they can get, and I think they're much better off having him on the field. Uh, they've got new blood, new voices on the defensive side of the ball. I think his place will be on the field much more so than it was last year. Do you watch the Flag Football League? No, Andrew, i, I got stuff to do. All right, everybody, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off. Thank you so much for all the questions. Sorry if I couldn't get to yours, and I'm sorry my phone hates me. But... I'll be back tomorrow, barring any breaking news overnight. In the meantime, make sure you're checking PackersNews.com for all the latest, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot, everyone.